Hey everybody, Mike with B Rescue. I pull my mask down a little. Woo! Cold out here after that big old cold snap we had, huh? I got down to 14 below. Anyway, a lot of people around here will say you got to have certain configuration, certain type of equipment to keep your bees alive over winter, right? Usually it's a 10 frame double deep. So everybody standardizes on. Well, here's a uh, cheaply made eight frame medium configuration, just two mediums. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's got this copper top kind of garden hive thing going on. It's in a custom stand, but you can see the entrance is wide open and a few dead bees out here, but something has absconded with my entrance reducer. But who cares? The snow's doing that job. Anyway, just want to show you guys mediums work. Stacked mediums work. You know, there's a great video Matt Winstead of Golden Rule Honey Farm did and uh, shows you a colony doing really well just in a pro nuke box. So what you need to overwinter your bees isn't necessarily a certain type of equipment. You want you want them to be pest free and well fed and a decent enough size to cluster and keep themselves warm. And you get that in the largest part with good bees, right? That's why we partner with Golden Rule Honey Farm. That's why we do Minnesota hygienic type of bees. They seem to overwinter well. They're consistent, reasonably docile. Here's a uh, triple stacked medium configuration. I call this a back saver. We do sell medium nukes, but that one's alive and kicking. And it has as much to do with the quality of the bees as it does the uh, uh, exercises that, that we beekeepers go through to keep them alive. So, yeah, I've had Russians, Saskatraz, uh, plain old Italians, Carnolians, about every kind of bee you can get. And I like them all. You know, at a certain point, bees are bees. I'm just telling you about my favorite. I'm not knocking the other ones, but for consistency and behavior and survival, uh, mite tolerance, even treatment tolerance, right? Because that's a thing. To have a good productive bee, I really like those Minnesota hygienics. So that's what you'll find on my website at beerescue.com. That's B-E-E-R-E-S-Q.com. That's what I have most of in my educational apiary out here at Holiday Lake, north of Oak Grove. So if you have any questions, give, them a, give us a buzz. Take care.